My name is Gail Johnson. My company is Leaf Spring Schools. Uh, we, have, we were formerly Rainbow Station and rebranded as Leaf Spring about three years ago. We are a nationally accredited, internationally franchised organization that it provides preschool education and school edge recreation for children zero to 14. And I worked until the company was 25 years old and decided it was time for me to retire. I have so been motivated by the passage from Jeremiah 29, 11, when God said, I, ha I know the plans I have for you, plans for you to prosper and not to harm you. That's, that's a critical piece and plans for a hope and a future. Okay, if I had stayed satisfied, then maybe the plans that, that God had for me, that he had, that always had been in the cards for me, would never have been realized. But I, ha but I had to get a pebble in my shoe. I had to get uncomfortable to move forward. And I think sometimes um, that's as necessary uh, to get you to move as to you move so that God can also leave you, lead you. So the dissatisfaction caused me to move forward. And then after I started moving forward, I had to keep moving so that we would make the progress and get to where those plans that God had for me could be realized. I strongly believe that God cannot leave someone sitting and waiting that you've got to keep moving. And if you go down the path that's not quite right, then uh, you will hit a brick wall or you will hit something that's, that will tell you, no, this isn't right. And then you just turn and pivot and go the other direction. And, and it feels so good when the wind starts flowing at your back and it becomes, after you've done this for years, um, the wind at your back becomes really easy to discern as well as, oops, we're not going quite the wrong way. And in my company, you know, we have always said over and over with all of our, our leadership team and all of our teachers and our staff, you know, we serve a God in heaven and he's always out there leading us and protecting us and showing us the way to go. I said that so much that sometimes when we hit a rough patch, like a recession or something like that, I would have those words parroted back to me, which was really comforting. <laughs>